Okay, um, this is actually Tommy Robinson's uh, Roman Reigns is doing a Roman versus Cass video here. He's set up also with Bray and Rusev, same as you'd set up Cass. Um, right off the bat, you want to go for that black move. So you can set up the uh, take away the reds later on. He got one red move in there. So now you're going to turn two. Here's turn three. You can use that black destroy random reds to be able to fill up the red move. Luckily not enough to pin him. Now we're able to... Well, I think he just wanted to make sure he wouldn't get any green on the next go around there. Uh, so we're gonna turn, turn here. So we're gonna uh, you're gonna use the uh, reds to uh, to blast. That's probably what actually was doing the last time, trying to get rid of some stuff on the board to be able to set up some more reds on there. Unfortunately, there's only two reds. Should have been four to five uh, blast gems. And then this move here is the uh, choosing four blast gems to make your own. He uh, sets them up around that yellow gem for the match. Uh, takes out half the board and uh, next big thing is completely done after that uh, as I said uh, it takes out like one more turn uh, versus cast but definitely uh, did some huge damage there okay here's cast um, only reason I'm really doing cast even though it's pretty self-explanatory how to use cast we're going to do a uh, Cass versus Roman Reigns comparison. Uh, I'm going to set Cass up. Trainers, Rusev, obviously, and Bray. We have to pull. There you go. Set. Move is the standard Cass move set. Um, I actually personally like purple better in case uh, you really don't ever use his finisher. So if you use the purple, uh, in case you have a bad board with blacks, you can manage to uh, trade that in to get some black, extra black gems. Uh, and then of course the blast move and the uh, other uh, black, red move, or uh, blue to red gem changing move just to uh, be able to pull in some extra damage points. Uh, we're gonna uh, face the next big thing uh, because that's what Roman did. And I'm using the raw link just to get that extra bonus in there as it is. Now, Cass is normally turn two, and he's great against uh, three star silvers and lower at gold. And you can normally get that turn two as long as you get a black match every single time. Unfortunately, against uh, some three star golds, there's scaling issues sometimes uh, for damage. So we're going to. Uh, Kind of see how he fares here. All right. And like that kind of setup, I'm going to use the uh, the four spot here to uh, pop the top and the bottom. That uh, pulls in some extra blacks and red damage. Uh, so hopefully that'll be enough to keep him from kicking out. Uh, he's currently at 76. And so let's see how much damage we can pull off that. And he kicks out. Luckily, I kicked out myself there. Uh, we're gonna use the uh, black, purple black move. See if we can pull in some extras. Can't use the uh, blue red. Zone, so at least we can do this 
and make sure we get the wind out of it. As you can see though, that's Cass's thing. He does a ton of damage on that board, but unless you have a lot of black or red currently on the board, uh, the three-star golds have a definite issue with being able to kick out. Uh, as you notice in the Roman Reigns video, yes, he takes pretty much a turn longer. He's like about a 3.6 average, I believe. Well, Cass is, uh, Cass is like a 2.9, if I remember correctly. Um, so Roman's probably half turn, turn slower than Cass, but he's going to get the job done 100%. Uh, versus cast with the possible kickout and uh, failure. So there you go.